Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your uh, your May bonus reading. Uh, we're going to jump right in here. I am going to move a little bit quickly, uh, and you have this taking off card uh, through these readings. I have a little bit of a time crunch this weekend, so they will be a little bit shorter, but you have this uh, take off card. It says things will take off much sooner than you expected. You also have this inspiration card. It says a spark of inspiration will ignite a brilliant new ideas. Uh, so love it. I think whatever you're working on or working towards is going to lead to a lot of success. I kind of, I do feel like that you have to let go of past karma with the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is not karma, but you know, I feel just cheating a little bit looking at your astrology, Pisces. There's like a lot of stuff going on for you that is basically saying like, you have to let go of those kind of like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. You know, those like spiritual debts, you know, or um, whatever you want to call it. So it's like those moments where, uh, and, and this is not even just in love. I want to stress that th this is your whole entire life. Like if there are things and you cannot make this up right here, willing release and beautiful uncaging. It's like you have to let go of those moments maybe where um, you feel like you weren't supported or where you didn't get paid your worth in work or business or, you know, whatever. Because again, I think a lot of what's holding back Pisces, if you are being held back or if you, if you feel like you are being held back at this time, is you is kind of like all those things, all those moments where, um, you know, where you didn't, uh, you know, get your worth or you uh, feel like you weren't paid what you were supposed to be paid or, you know, any of that stuff. So I kind of feel uh, that this reading is, that's what this reading is talking about. Uh, your first position here is going to represent the past. So we're doing past, present, future. Uh, you have the Three of Swords. Again, I kind of feel like you have to look at all those things, all the um, moments and all the uh, situations that you've been in where you weren't, uh, where maybe you feel like you didn't get something that you value, or maybe you feel like you didn't get something uh, that you deserve in your life. And I feel the Three of Swords is encouraging you to heal those things. Uh, you even have the Temperance card here. Temperance is a card of patience, but you know we could argue that Temperance is a card of healing. Uh, he is cr kind, kind of uh, trying to transform his situation. He's pouring those cups back and forth, trying to turn water into wine. And so I feel for a lot of you that the temperance card is saying that it's time for you to kind of like, you know, transform the things that have happened to you in your life and maybe heal through them or uh, even forgive them. You know, the three of swords is really a card of forgiveness. And it doesn't say you have to, you know, forget about a situation. It doesn't say that you have to forgive a situation directly. It's more about releasing things and forgiving things in yourself so that you can move forward. And I feel that here with the temperance card as well. Like I really feel it's encouraging you uh, to let go of those situations that have held you back or let go of the things where you feel like you were held back. And you have the four pentacles, here you go. <laughs> you know, four pentacles needing to let go of a situation, right? He's holding on to tightly, uh, but he's only holding on to those four pentacles. You know, it's almost like, you know, the universe really has something better for you, Pisces. I really believe that. I don't know if you've ever, um, you know, I don't know if you've ever seen that meme where it's like a picture of a little girl holding on to a teddy bear and then like God is talking to her or whatever and he's got like a gigantic teddy bear uh, behind his back, you know? And it's basically saying, you know, it's it, you know, I think the the gist of the meme is that sometimes we hold on to things when there's something so much better that's coming in for us. And, you know, I would argue that this is your whole entire life, Pisces. I think you're, you have the opportunity to make your whole entire life a lot better right now. Uh, but there could be some old stories, old habits, you know, old situations that you need to release with the Four of Pentacles. And I would definitely encourage you to release anything uh, that you feel has been holding you back. So uh, let's clarify through here and let's see what is going on for you. Uh, with the Three of Swords, you have the Two of Cups. Uh, I kind of feel like there is new love coming in for you, by the way. You know, once when you forgive a past situation or when you release a past situation, you have this Passion and Romance Awaits card here. So there's clearly like a new person. Two of Cups is like someone who's different than your usual type. And again, kind of going back to the whole learning from the past. It's like, did you learn from a past situation or um, you know, are you going to repeat mistakes? The, th the thing about the Two of Cups is that these two people are meant to look very different. So it's like you could be attracting something or a person that is very different than what you would normally go for. And sorry, these are not in a line, so that's going to drive me crazy. But uh, again, I feel that, you know, there could be an opportunity for you to meet a person that's different. 
Here you go with the Temperance card. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. It's like it, this reading is saying like once you forgive, once you release, that's when things will take off much sooner than expected, as that card says there. So I feel that there is you know kind of this Ten of Pentacles level of success coming in for you. I feel you know it's impossible I think for Pisces to not work towards building and leaving a legacy right now. So you are definitely working on you know, bigger, better, bigger and better things in your life. And the Ten of Pentacles is something permanent. So you could be working towards, you know, permanent success, permanent solutions, you know, whatever it is. With the Four of Pentacles, you have the Chariot. What's really funny that I will show you is that on the back of the Four of Pentacles, he has this city behind him. And it's like, he's kind of holding on to that city where he is. And then on the Chariot, I'm gonna show you on the big version just cause it's easier to see. He is leaving the city behind him behind because there's, you know, maybe things, uh, you know, it's too familiar. He hasn't, there's nothing more he can learn there. All the rules are the same in that city. Everything, he's already experienced everything that he could potentially experience in that city. So he's looking for greener pastures. He's looking for a place where he can set himself apart. And uh, this reading is definitely encouraging you, Pisces, to set yourself apart. Uh, next in the area of the uh, present, you have this fire card. It says reckless action leads to, leads to conflict. And you also have the seduction card. It says passion and romance await. So I would make sure that you're kind of thinking things through and taking your time. It's a pretty good reading. So I don't think there is going to necessarily be any reckless action. And you also have the sun. You know, the sun makes the whole entire reading a little bit more positive. And it also says that things are going to go like a little bit more your way here. So I kind of feel like thing, you know, really the universe wants things to go in your favor. You know, of course I wouldn't like rush into anything with the chariot, you know, very good card, it's card of a victory. But if we were looking at this like reckless action, then, you know, the chariot in reverse, for example, can represent reckless action or uh, doing something too quickly, not thinking things through or, you know, whatever the case may be. So I would take your time. Definitely feel there could be love coming in for you here. Uh, you have the sun, the chariot, and the king of swords. Uh, the sun is a card of happiness, joy, uh, good things coming in for you. It's also a card of your inner child. This right here, uh, this wall behind this child, is it kind of represents the wall that we all build up against our inner child. And the sun kind of encourages us to release or put down uh, our walls. It encourages us to reveal our inner child, and it, and it wants us to do things um, in life that you know bring us joy, happiness enlightenment, good things. And, you know, you have this willing release card, this beautiful uncaging card at the end, which is coming up in your future. So I feel for a lot of you that you are kind of, you know, I think you're opening up energetically or you are more, you are, you know, being more open to, you know, have more fun or to loosen up. It's almost like, maybe that's a better way to put it, Pisces, is it's almost like you are just loosening up. You're just, uh, you know, kind of letting go of control, even though uh, the chariot here is a card of hard control, right? He has to grab on and, and really make something happen. Uh, you know, the strength card, for example, soft control, which is just allowing things to, sorry, I just knocked over all the cards here. Uh, you know, soft control is allowing things to happen. The chariot says where there's a will, there's a way. So again, if there's something you want to accomplish, I think, you know, now is the time for you to go for it. You have that card that says things will take off much sooner than expected. You have this card that says a spark of inspiration will ignite brilliant new ideas. So I feel for a lot of you, you're definitely in a very abundant time. Uh, for any of you that want to improve your finances or you know any of that stuff, I mean, I'm telling you right now, 10 of Pentacles plus your astrology is amazing for doing things that involve improving your finances. Uh, Jupiter going into your fourth as well at the end of the month, 25th of May. A lot of you could be moving, traveling, or um, looking for you know new places to sow your wild oats, Pisces. Um, I always say that you know just because Jupiter moves into your fourth doesn't mean you have to move. You know you could be um, doing, you could be just making moves. You could um, be maybe you are kind of like in a situation where there's no growth, and you could just be moving to a situation where there is growth. So it doesn't have to be. You know I think sometimes people take the astrology too literally. But it's not. It's not literal. You know, it's just a guide at you know, a guide map for your life at best. And I always say that, you know, you could also kind of like take it as a, like a move that you're making, or it could say that you're making moves, which it looks like you are. Uh, you have the King of Swords here. Uh, King of Swords is about like knowledge and wisdom. I, I do feel like you are looking at all the lessons you've learned, you know, all the things that you've been through, as we have already said, and all the situations that have entered into your life, and you're kind of looking at you know what you have learned from those situations. Uh, you also have the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. I'm not like the biggest fan 
of the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. To me, this is two people who are not communicating, two people who are not seeing eye to eye. Uh, you know, this could be a past situation or something, and that you know that could be what you are uh, forgiving here. Although I kind of feel pretty good about that Queen of Swords. I feel like you're seeing things clearly at the end of the reading here. I feel like you're kind of more focused on the future and gr you know growing something in your life. With the Sun, you have the Five of Wands. Again, the the Five of Wands with the Sun would be more positive because it's a Sun. But the Five of Wands can represent education. You know, these people are learning through fighting. But they're not really fighting. They're using sticks to fight. They're not using swords. So it's really a card of like training or training how to win in life. And I feel a lot of you could be doing a lot of, you know, training or you could be learning new things. I also feel like the whole the entire first row, I was basically saying that you need to look at the lessons that you've learned, the things that you've learned through uh, based off of what you've been through so that not only do you not repeat mistakes, but um, you can actually change your focus and focus on what's working. And with the chariot, you have the page of wands, which you have twice here. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if you're feeling more adventurous. Again, Jupiter moving into your fourth house, you know, could make you a little bit more adventurous, could make you a little bit more open to trying new things or, um, you know, working on new projects or new ideas. So I feel a lot of you, you know, could be kind of like doing that. Uh, with the king of swords, you have the devil here. Um, I knew the devil was going to show up. I would be careful of a devil person here who's like, you know, trying to keep you in the dark or something like that. I just get this feeling of a person who it's like even, you know, let, let's, I, I don't see this here in the reading, but let's just pretend that you have a person who's coming back to apologize or something. I just get this feeling that they're still trying to keep you in the dark. Could be an air sign if you dealt with an air sign in the past. So I would definitely be careful of that situation. I also feel for all of you, not just in love. I do feel this is encouraging you to protect your energy the whole entire reading. It's like your energy is very precious right now. I think you have the ability to really 10 of pentacles and you know build and leave a legacy or build something bigger with your life. But if you're like giving your energy to things that are sucking it away, then you're going to feel tired, exhausted, you know, probably not going to want to do it. Uh, next in the area of your future, you have this willing release and this beautiful and Cajun card. I'm kind of looking at these as the same. You know, I think that a lot of you could be letting go of things that no longer serve you. I feel a lot of you could be letting go of things that have been holding you back for a long time. And I feel like you could be opening up your heart. It looks to me like there is a new person who is, you know, has, they, I, like, I feel like you have caught their eye. So this could be like an admirer or a secret admirer. I feel like someone has their eye on you right now, right now, Pisces, even if, even, even if you don't want love, <laughs> you know, people always say, uh, I don't want love. I'm like, well, that's not going to stop a person from being attracted to you. So you don't have to accept it into your life. But I do feel a lot, like pretty much a lot of you have some sort of secret admirer. Uh, I feel like you are going to meet this person on some sort of adventure or move, like I already said. So uh, this could be you literally moving. It could be you traveling, going on adventures. Um, but again, that you know that could be an adventure in your town. You could just be going on a hike or you know going to a new gym or going to a new restaurant or whatever. And I kind of get the feeling that you could be meeting a person you know through on some sort of adventure like that. I also feel Pisces, of course, you need to follow your enthusiasm. I really, really believe that Pisces, like if you're not excited to do something, it is going to be a grind, right? <laughs> so I feel that you need to, it's almost like your enthusiasm is the thing that is going to be leading you right now. So I feel you need to pay attention to like your desires, things that bring you joy. Those are the things that are going to take off much sooner than expected. So those are the directions I would move in. If you are looking for love, again, I think that this could be something that moves very quickly because of that, things will take off much sooner than expected. You have the Queen of Swords here. Uh, Queen of Swords is about seeing things clearly. You know, she is very focused on the future here. She's looking off into the distance and she has her hand out. It's like she has her sword up, but her hand out. I kind of feel that's where you're at, Pisces. It's like you're willing to receive, but you're more cautiously optimistic about the future. I feel like you're more cautiously optimistic about, you know, kind of what people have to offer, but at least you are open to receiving. So, you know, again, it seems to me like you are opening up uh, with this reading or you're at least willing to be open. With the Page of Swords, you have the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is about taking the lead. Again, I do feel like someone is going to take the lead towards you. I would also say if there are things you want to accomplish that are outside your comfort zone, uh, that's where the growth is going to be. He, he's got the whole world in his hands, but he's afraid to leave his village down here. And so he needs to leave a comfort zone to be more successful. He needs to like get out um, and experience new things, right? With the Page of Wands, you have the Six of Wands. Yeah, big victories coming in for you. Wins, victories, you know, all sorts of stuff. 
So I feel like there could be a big victory with the six of wands. Um, love it. Uh, with the queen of swords, you have the star. Are you kidding? Uh, look at this. Sun and the star. Fame and fortune. A lot of attention on you, Pisces. I mean, I've been saying this all year that I think that there is a crazy amount of attention that's coming in for you. And, you know, I would take advantage of it, especially if you want to have a social media or anything like that. Or if you want love, go get attention, right? Or, or if you want to raise or promotion, go get attention at work. Uh, you have this purse card that says, pay attention to your finances. I think your finances are going to be improving. I think things are going to get better. But as I always say, like I just wouldn't be spending like crazy. Uh, you have this whale. It says, great worry over nothing. Yes, typical Pisces, <laughs> right? right? Like, you know, I, I think that if you're worrying about things, if you're concerned about, you know, how things are going to go or how things are going to be moving forward, you know, again, I, I would let go of those fears. I think that you're going to find out that you're worrying over nothing. You have a sun card. Again, it says happiness and well-being. So, there's clearly two suns here, a lot of happiness, uh, you know, improving your well-being. I would actually, you know, just based off your astrology as well, I think it's a great month for you, Pisces, to, you know, work on your health, wealth, happiness, and, and work on improving the health of all the situations in your life. And so I think, you know, that's what I would focus on. You have this ladder. It says climbing towards success. Love it. You know, major success coming in here. And you have this apple. It says temptation will test you. I would be careful of a devil person here, especially if it's a temptation. But other than that, this looks really, really good. Pisces, I love where this is going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.